So guys, welcome back to the channel once more. My name is Adam. In today's video, I'm going to analyze and also give my own prediction on the second leg of UCL semi-final games. There are two games that are going to be played. PSG versus Dortmund and also Real Madrid versus Bayern Munich. So guys, you can join in the convo down below in the comment section. Let me know your correct score line and also who is going to win those games and qualify to the finals. So quickly, let's jump into it. And I want to begin with PSG versus Dortmund. In the first leg, Dortmund won by one goal to zero. Now, a lot of people believe Dortmund have the lead. They have the advantage going to the second leg. But then I beg to differ because if you take a look at how Dortmund played, I believe they should have one more goal. So making it two goal difference or three goal difference. But having a single goal difference going to the second leg is no advantage because it can easily be overturned. If you take a look at the first leg, Dortmund had a ball possession of 43% and PSG had a ball possession of 57%. Which means that in the first leg, Dortmund defended very well, allowing PSG to have possession. And then their defense repelled players such as Mbappe, Bradley Bacola and also Usman Dembele. So I believe Dortmund defense were at work during the first leg, the likes of Matt Simons and also Schlotterbeck, they did their jobs very well. Sabitza and Emre Chan holding off that double pivot position and doing their jobs very, very well. Now, if you take a look at the shots that was played in that game, Dortmund had a total shot of 13 and also PSG had a total shot of 14, which I believe both teams had their, sh their shot at goal. And then at the end of the day, PSG had three shots on targets. Dortmund had four shots on targets. And if you take a look at chances created between both teams, PSG created only four big chances and also Dortmund created five big chances. That is why I said earlier that Dortmund should have been more than one goal up because if you really want an advantage, you should be two or three goals up going to park the front. And let's not forget, this is going to be the first time PSG is going to play in the semi-finals of the UEFA Champions League in front of their fans. The last time they were in a position like this in the semi-finals, it wasn't during the COVID time. And so the fans were not in the stadium. This time around, Park de France is going to be full. And the same energy Dortmund had at Signal Iduna Park, PSG is going to have the same energy at Park de France because they believe they can overturn the results. Now, if you take a look at PSG defense, honestly, it is the weakest defense in the UEFA semi-finals team so far. You have Marquinhos in there and Lucas Hernandez who got injured in the first leg and he was replaced by Beraldo. Now, when Lucas Hernandez was replaced in that game, he, I mean, the defense really didn't gel. And if you look at PSG, they are a team that really concedes. They concede a lot. PSG is a team that concedes a lot. And I believe that if they are not able to score more goals to cover up their weakness, I mean, do not be able to qualify for the finals. On the other hand, if you take a look at Dortmund's lineup, I think their strength lies in their you no know, defensive setup. Matt Hummels, Schlotterbeck, we have Aymatsen and also Junior Ryzen. I mean, the four back are very solid. They played very well in the first leg. I believe they can do the same, hold off their own and make sure they just send this game to a draw and then qualify. But I believe that if it comes to prediction, I mean, Mbappe to score. Once there's Mbappe, just know that anything can happen. So, my first prediction would be Mbappe to score. Second prediction would be PSG to qualify to the finals because they are playing at home. Pack de France would be full and the fans would be supporting. The third one is that I believe Dortmund are going to score a goal. So, this game would be both teams to score. Both teams are going to score in the game. And also, the game would be over 2.5. I believe the score line could be 3-1, 2-1. Or probably 3 2 or 4 1. That is how I believe. So, multi goals in this game. So, guys, that is my prediction for the first game PSG versus Dortmund. Now, let's move away from that and talk about the second game. And the second game would be um, Real Madrid versus Bayern Munich. Now, in the first leg for this this game, it was it was a lot, a lot of talking points. People were asking if, you know, Bayern Munich, they understand what they are doing. But I just felt like in the first leg, Bayern Munich played better in the second half as compared to the first half. And we all praised the tactical brilliance of Tuchel, you know, entertaining the position of the Jamal Musiala and also Leroy Sani and bringing in a substitute who impacted in the game. 
But then if you take a look at the first leg, the statistics, you notice that Bayern Munich had a possession of 52 and also Real Madrid having a possession of 48. But that game, total shots, Real Madrid 10 total shots and also um, Bayern Munich 14 total shots in the first leg. Now, if you take a look at the chances created, both teams created equal number of chances, 3-3. Three, three. And big chances missed two for Bayern Munich, one for Real Madrid. Now, we all know Real Madrid and the masters of the UEFA Champions League. In fact, if you take a look at their squad, most of the players have won the UEFA Champions League before. It's just left with about two or three players who have not won it before. And they have a very good defensive line. Now, in the first leg, Daniel Carvajal was not in there because he was suspended. So, I mean, there was another player playing in there and that player was cooked. Lucas Vasquez was cooked in the first leg by Bayern Munich players. This time around, Kabaya is coming. So it's not going to be easy for Bayern Munich when they want a weaker spot. It's not going to be easy for them. Now, if you take a look at their midfield, I mean, Tony Cruz started. So on the other hand, I believe Bayern Munich have a balanced squad. But then the problem they had in the first leg was with their defense, Kim Jai. There was a lot of mistakes from his end. And I don't know if he will be changed or not. But I just believe to boost his confidence, he needs to start in the second leg. But then if you turn you in the second leg, you just kill his morale. So I believe Tucho needs to do the right thing and still play, you know, Kirin Jai in the second leg. He's no way. I, I think he's going to get it right this time around. I believe they have a very, you know, balanced squad. Hurricane is in there. Jamal Musiala, Thomas Muller, Leroy Sane, Goretzka. I mean, Bayern Munich have a very good squad. It's just left with the way the tactics is going to help each and everyone on that pitch just to balance things out and play against Real Madrid. Honestly, when it comes to prediction, I'm going to side with you no know, Real Madrid because Real Madrid are one team that plays the Champions League like they mean it. It's not about possessing football, about playing nice football. At the end of the day, they get the job done. They score goals and get the job done. So if you're looking for a team that could qualify to the finals, I'll go in for Real Madrid. They are a team that I believe can do. And looking at the fact that Dani Cavallo is back, it gives Real Madrid that boost once more that they can make things happen. Unlike the first time when, like the first leg, like, when Lucas Vasquez was hooked on all fronts. This time around, Dani Cavallo is coming and it's going to be a different game altogether. So my prediction, one, Real Madrid to qualify. Two, both teams to score. I believe there's still way to be goals in this game. None of these teams are going to respect each other or probably sit back they are going to go at each other. And at the end of the day, I believe they will be good. So both teams to score. Also, I believe that Vinicius Jr. to score. Yes, Vinicius Jr. is going to score. Hurricane to score. Vinicius Jr. to score. Hurricane to score. And these are my predictions for both semifinals of the UCL. Let me know yours down below in the comment section. I just believe that this is how it's going to be. PSG versus Dortmund. PSG to qualify to the finals. Real Madrid versus Bayern Munich. Real Madrid to qualify to the final. So we will be seeing a PSG versus Real Madrid finals in the UCL. And that is my prediction. Let me know yours down below in the comment. Thanks for joining me. My name is Adam. I'll make sure to see you in the next one. Charlie, you go vibe.